Freedom Fighters coming at you beachside on a warm sunny day in Hawaii. Nah, I wish, but we can dream. But the dream has become a nightmare. Just like the American dream, you have to be asleep to believe it. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you saw this ruling from the Hawaii Supreme Court that says you have no rights, you have no freedom to carry a firearm. So do as you're told, slave. But uh, yeah, I mean, you've got to see this ruling. And I'll try to link it below, but the tube doesn't like links. They haven't been working well lately. So I'll try to post a picture uh, in the video. But yeah, it goes something like, as the world turns, there's no reason to pledge allegiance to America and its constitution and the way things were done in the old days. Because we're past that now and we do things differently. Is essentially what it said. And I'm surprised it didn't just come all the way out and say, America is a illegitimate country founded by white men and a constitution for white men and all this stuff. You know, 1619 Project BS. Um, and it's essentially what it said, but, you know, as always, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. But it was pretty crazy. And uh, they're coming out with all different kinds of bills nowadays. Um, one of them is called like the No Training Act, which says, uh, you know, you can't, you and a group of buddies can't go out there and train or, you know, you can't have militias and you know how that goes, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state and the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. But once again, they go leaps and bounds above their abilities and just do as they want anyway and no one holds these people accountable so they get away with it all um yeah so again you and a group of buddies uh or militia will be illegal and they say I, I can't even remember i think it was like three or five people a uh, group of three or five people is paramilitary activity and uh you know many states have already passed or i'm not sure if they passed or they're bills coming forward of no armor bans um so i mean you can't do anything with with that it's pure defensive and precautionary measures i mean if we're talking soft armor like kevlar and stuff like that you can't hurt anybody with that i mean now if you're talking a steel plate i guess you could hit someone over the head or something but that's no different than a frying pan um but it's clear where this is going I mean, they hate you, they want you dead, they're coming to kill you. And imagine any of these, like back in the day, any of these killer dictators or something. Uh, Tilla the Hun, you know, trots his way into your village. And, you know, says, well, you know, there's a new law around here that you can't train or you can't defend yourself against my army. And you're just like, What? Uh, no one would comply to that. And, you know, Vlad the Impaler comes in and goes, uh, I see you guys are making some chain link armor around here, and that's that's illegal. You know, I want bare-bellied, bare-chested men around here. Uh, you know, and he's rubbing his hands, you know, the better to impale you with, my dear. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, they're, the village people are like, you know, well, I don't know, you know, should we do that? Um, it's probably not a good idea. I mean, what could Vlad the Impaler possibly do to you? Um, and, you know, one day you wake up and you're all sitting on pikes wondering what the hell happened. I mean, it, it's an absolute joke. Again, if you don't, if you don't see what's coming, uh, I mean, I don't know, there's probably no helping you, but um, and, you know, they're saying, oh, it's going to go to SCOTUS. And, you know, I recently did a video about that. SCOTUS ain't going to save you. And they were recently, I don't know if you saw this Katanji Brown Jackson clip. Um, and they usually don't air Supreme Court cases on TV or not. But I think it was because due, it was due to the presidency thing that maybe it was a big enough case. Or I heard a clip from it. But... She was basically like, yeah, Trump can't be on the ballot because he's an insurrectionist and you're all DTs and, you know, all that. So, 
you know, people on the highest court of the land don't even know what a man and a woman is. So don't expect anything to come out of there. And, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, look what they just ruled in Texas. The, and people are acting like the Supreme Court is the say all be all. You know, there's a higher law of the land here. It's the Constitution, and then it's what comes from God. But, you know, nothing is going to be accomplished in these kangaroo courts. And Katanji Brown Jackson is a 1619 project indoctrinated sheep. So, again, and, and especially if they're in the Supreme Court, you know they're in your state Supreme Courts and your lower level, you know, local courts. And that's what you're going to face in these kangaroo courts. Uh, so it doesn't matter, man. But uh, yeah, ultimately the point I was getting to is who's going to enforce it. And, you know, that's what I was talking to. If you if you follow me on Truth, you probably already saw this. But I was posting about this, you know, a while back. Um, but, you know, dealing, you know, in the MAGA crowd, there's still so many bootlickers. And they got the blinders on. And, you know, they love the blue. Um, but who enforced it at Waco? You know, who enforced it at Ruby Ridge? And Trump was on Truth just the other day, um, posting pictures with uh, some police department. We love our local law enforcement and, you know, our blue. Uh, well, yeah, they had no problem hauling you off to the Fulton County Jail, did they? And taking you to court and all this stuff. And they did the same with the McCluskeys. I don't know if you remember him. He was the guy who uh, fought off the BLM mob from burning down his uh, million dollar mansion. But, you know, when they came to took his guns, I remember he did an interview. And he took some pictures of them hauling his stuff out and everything. And he's like, you know, and they turned their, um, and they turned their back. Because they didn't want to be on camera and all that. And he was like, man, I talked to these guys. You know, they didn't want to do this and they, you know, they were a fan of mine and all that. Yeah, but they did it anyway, didn't they? And, and we keep backing them and supporting them, you know, to our detriment. And you think they won't just follow orders. I mean, this is some real Stockholm Syndrome shit. And this is where we're at. Like, we love our oppressors. We We love the boot. And somehow we don't realize it. But, um... Yeah, so, I mean, you'll be a criminal if you dare to be free and exercise your God-given rights. And I know people always say, well, what if you don't believe in God? How can they be God-given rights? Um, they're human rights. Or people will say, you know, your freedom or your sovereignty or your natural rights. But, you know, for me, they come from God. I believe in God. So I refer to them as my God-given rights. But... If you use any of the other terms, we all know what they mean. Essentially, it comes down to you don't need permission. The reason you had the ability to do them, uh, it didn't come from government. So you don't need to ask, you know, the king or, you know, the robes or the badges. Do I have permission to, to be able to be free? And if you're still waiting for SCOTUS or the robes to tell you you can do it, you're, you're lost. But, uh, you know, even if the robes say you can, or this goes to the Supreme Court and they rule favorably, I mean, so what if they do? They already have in Bruin, and I believe that was the New York case. And then New York just disobeyed it and said, whatever, you still don't have rights here. Uh, California recently had a ruling. I think that was a federal court or something. Um, and then Cali just rewrote their laws and say, well, you can't carry a thousand yards from a school or I don't forget what it was a couple miles or um public walkways sidewalks public venues um basically if there's a McDonald's on the corner or a liquor store or anywhere it just became unconstitutional gun free zones and no one's going to hold them accountable you know they they just do whatever they want Cali uh, uh New York Chicago now Hawaii in all these states. And, and, you know, I've been saying it for a long time. These are conquered territories in the Second Civil War. And, yeah, I've sa I have said it. And, and that's what they're doing. They're drawing the lines. 
they're you know carving out their states and they're taking over and and we just keep giving and again if you follow me on truth or you've seen that that's what i'm saying man um and it only goes one way only one side is fighting the other side is sitting around playing patty cake and they think it's a joke and uh you know, that's pretty much what it comes down to. But yeah, in the last video, I also talked about, you know, your president was ruled a dementia patient. And yeah, he willfully handled and unlawfully handled classified uh, of what they say top secret documents of the utmost importance, you know, thrown around his garage and hidden in a closet in a Chinese college funded institute. Um, but he's just a well-meaning old man who has no memory of when his son died or if he's even president or vice president. So we can't do anything about that. But I, I think it was CNN. You remember when they said uh, Assange document? I think it was Assange documents where they're like, you can't have these or you can't read them. And if you do, you go to jail. But we're the people who bring you the news so we can talk about it. And, uh, you know, recently there was a guy, uh, posting stuff on discord and again, they're like, oh no, he, uh, took these, uh, classified documents and stuff like that. So there are plenty of cases where people have gone to jail for much less. And I think there was a story a, a while back of a Navy sailor who just took a picture of an engine he was working on and they like charged him for like espionage or something. Uh, but no, we can't, we can't charge Dementia Joe, uh, because, you know, he's just a well-meaning old man. And they did the same with Hillary. You remember Comey said, uh, oh yeah, she, uh, didn't cooperate and she had, uh, she deleted her emails and cleaned her servers and smashed her phones with hammers and didn't, you know, all this stuff. But no reasonable prosecutor is going to prosecute these people. You know, no reasonable cop's going to put cuffs on Hillary Clinton, but they did it to Trump because we don't fight the same way they fight. And they have no problem put the cuffs on you. Uh, no problem busting down your door and stealing your property and rightfully owned possessions because they don't give a damn. Again, only one side is fighting this second civil war. Only one side is held accountable. And we talk about the two-tier justice system a lot. Uh, if you're on one side, you better believe you're going to prison. You better believe they're going to apply the law. And our side's just like, well, they violate the Constitution. They do commit treason on a daily basis. But really... I mean, no one's going to do anything. So, again, you've heard my opinion on your modern-day Republicans, conservatives, whatever you want to call them. They're just uh, grifters. They're along for the ride to the very bottom of the collapse. But, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys are doing. If you're in Hawaii or know people in Hawaii, are you forming militias? Are you talking amongst your community about them stealing your freedoms? You know, what's going on? What's going to happen? Let me know. But on that note, you know what I always say. We are on our own. No one's coming to save us. So get right with God. Because only God can save you. Freedom Fighters out.